Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to talk about how to exactly calculate the severity of a vulnerability. I know this is one of the very you know minor topic but a uh, lot of people usually get confused about it and I have seen a lot of even experienced guys getting confused about uh, you know whether to consider this vulnerability as a medium or high or maybe even low so they really get into this mess of figuring out whether the particular vulnerability is actually in what kind of vulnerability right so there are multiple factors to join uh, I mean evaluate and say that whether a vulnerability is actually high or low or medium so we'll understand in depth because even I have worked with different teams and even my own teammates like I was working with a bunch of five to seven guys and there are some of the juniors usually comes to me and ask like okay I have found out this URL direction what vulnerability what severity should I report it uh, even some guy will say okay I am testing API I have found some input validation shall I report it as an you know medium or high what exactly shall I uh, report it now it's not only with the junior but eventually some of the seniors also I do not want to name anyone but yes this is one of the really practical stuff and a lot of people even experienced guy usually tend to struggle about evaluating a vulnerability whether to consider it as in low high or um, you know critical so we'll try to understand in depth probably we will jump into our screen and see how do we actually figure out some vulnerability we'll take some of the live example and see whether to consider that as an uh, you know high or maybe whether to consider that as an uh, medium because even we have seen in bug bounty report also right some of the vulnerability even uh, cookie flag is also considered as an uh, high or maybe medium vulnerability i'll put some screenshot over here from the hacker one report or even sometimes some guy found some xss but he don't uh, consider that or usually team even tend to ignore the vulnerability saying that is not applicable so this is not something that is like to get surprised or something we'll try to understand it better how, why exactly that happened now to know this answer and to get the con complete concept to watch the video completely so that you will get the complete idea of course if you have any query or something or you have your some of these kind of example you have experienced in your life then definitely let me know in the comment box and uh, help other also so that they will get the clear idea about it now if you are new to my channel then definitely go ahead and subscribe and share this video with everyone so let's get started now a lot of time that happens that you will find some of the let's say reflected accesses or let's say you found some input validation issues and you are getting confused or sometimes even you just directly go ahead since the accesses is one of the you know a top rank vulnerability in OASP then we will definitely consider this as an you know high vulnerability and I will consider this as vulnerability as an high which is not true exactly because uh, it depends on multiple factor you know whether this is an authenticated application or where exactly you have found the accesses whether you have found some of the page which is private to a particular person is it a something kind of self accesses I'm sure you would be knowing about what exactly is self accesses right so I don't want to you know explain about self access in better but the thing is that if you have found a particular vulnerability it completely depends where which particular parameter you have found out whether that particular parameter is you know authenticated whether this is unauthenticated whether only one particular person can access it or whether everybody can actually go to the visit particular page so it completely depends on multiple factor to judge a particular vulnerability as an uh, high medium or low now it's not like that you found a URL direction mean definitely that will be a medium or low or even high. It may happen that if you are dealing with some of the financial website like let's say some of the banking website where you have some transaction redirection thing kind of happen and uh, somebody has uh, made a simple URL direction vulnerability but in that particular case it may uh, you know make it an even high. I have seen some of the banking application in fact I have myself reported some of the banking application that to be a high vulnerability because there are some transaction view page where user will get redirection uh, for his transaction view and that is where one of the issue was there so it's not like that uh, you know you will always have a URL direction as in low or maybe even medium it will definitely depend on in fact very recently I can remember one year back or nine months back I found one of the URL direction issues in a crypto website again I'll put some screenshot over there and uh, some cryptocurrency exchange kind of website and they they consider that as an high issue and they paid a good amount for it so it really depends under what particular environment you have found the particular issue so even a simple URL direction if you don't know what URL direction I have made a dedicated video on that go ahead and check it in my channel I'm sure uh, you will get some answer about it now one of the reference point I would like to tell everyone like how I actually figure out the 
uh, severity of vulnerability i simply use something called as cvss score or common vulnerability scoring system right uh, system score yeah scoring system now cvss is really important because it has lot of multiple factor to consider uh, before uh, announcing a vulnerability or before saying a vulnerability to you know a high medium or low or critical now let's go to the screen again um, you know before making the example and showing you about different component about cvss score i would uh, like to tell you that all these videos are for educational purpose do not you know misuse the content it's for completely educational purpose only so yeah let's go to the computer screen and try to uh, understand about the cvss score and different parameter and we'll take some of the live example and calculate the cvss score now it may happen i will attach one excel sheet with a standard cvss uh, score matrix kind of like uh, kind of vulnerability along with the cvss score so that you will get some uh, idea you might find that in the description box or even in the pin area of the comment do let me know even if that help so let's go to the screen and understand better just take a simple google search about cvss score and i find this particular article really helpful so i'll just quick, quick, quickly go through this particular article so bellbix.com now it just says like what is cvss cvss is nothing but common vulnerability scoring system and it typically ranges from number 0 to number uh, 10 i believe they have some uh, guide also but we don't need basically now the zero is for the low uh, severity vulnerability and from uh, 10 is basically the highest uh, value about the particular vulnerability so there are basically version 2 and version 3 in fact i have seen version 1 also or maybe 0.6 also back in 2013 12 or maybe i don't exactly remember the exact year yeah so version 2 and version 3 has some um, you know difference i believe that is with respect to the scope but we don't need to talk a lot about it but we will simply focus on the cvss score matrix so there are basically three uh, cvss score matrix that is like the basic matrix group the temporal matrix group and the environmental matrix group now so um, again if you wanted to read about what exactly is basic matrix and even the temporal matrix that is like uh, some reading you have to do but i will just uh, focus on the cvss base uh, matrix right which is important for evaluating a particular vulnerability now if you see there is something called as the exploitability so let me actually quickly google and show you about the cvss score calculator which we typically uses or i use is personally so if you say cvss score calculator i think there is 3.1 version which is going on right now so i'll just directly take you to the cvss scoring calculator now if you see there are for the base score to get a base score you need to evaluate these values right there is attack vector there is attack complexity there is privilege required there is user interaction there is scope and the cia or confidential integrity and availability now when we see out the exploitability the first thing or the, there are few parameter that needs to be considered that is attack vector so attack vector basically uh, you know it it it's kind of defining point where it defines that the level of access that you required to basically exploit the vulnerability now uh, the score will of course uh, i mean drastically changes for a particular vulnerability to exploit it if you need the physical access or if you could do from the remote access so that is like kind of some of the simple example value uh, which basically decide the attack vector basically now um, again it, it depends on like from which environment you are able to um, actually run the particular a uh, payload and get some exploit so the score will be higher for the exploit that can be executed remotely wherein the the score will be lower obviously now the attack complexity is like how uh, complex uh, to reach the particular vulnerability is it like as simple as uh, you know clicking on a button or maybe is it as uh, as complicated like you need to know the exact code or maybe let's say example uh, you need to exact uh, form the payload in order to run a a uh, remote code execution that is what the attack uh, complexity basically define now privilege required is uh, something like really is simple like whether you need uh, what kind of privilege do you need to be authenticated do you need to be admin of the application do you need to be the client of the application so what exactly the privilege you would need in order to um, you know uh, exploit a particular vulnerability the third one is or the fourth one is sorry is user interaction so it basically says that uh, does the particular vulnerability to get exploited need some user interaction let's say example of your csrf attack 
CSRF attack definitely needs in most of the cases the user interaction in order to uh, make some changes within the application, right? That is what the user interaction means. Now the scope is basically depend on like what exactly scope is it like the web application is it the hybrid application like that has component like uh, web application API or even some uh, mobile application also or some cloud data. Now impact is something which is uh, really easy to understand. I believe if you don't know about the CIE or confidentiality integrity availability then you should clear your fundamental first. So confidentiality as you know that what confidence information is actually getting breached or up to what level of uh, data is accessible or if there is no such data accessible. Now integrity is something like what exactly is getting impacted like the is it like a severely consequential modification to data possible or is it like very less uh, harmful for the organization and availability is something like <coughs> let's say you delete some record of an user so in that particular case you will have some uh, after exploiting the uh, you know vulnerability we basically lost the data or the data will be still there that is what exactly the availability now if you see uh, let's just quickly go ahead and calculate one of the cvss score for one of the vulnerability i will take a simple example uh, let's say i am going to take for one of the something called as xss for xss uh, it really depends on the first attack vector is like uh, do you actually mean to be within the network or someone has to be locally able to run the xss or maybe it requires some physical access to the application again it completely depends so i am just saying let's say i am just saying local or let's say i am just taking as a network okay you can have the particular vulnerability accessible by the particular network now at a complexity as we know that for XSS, the attack complexity is most of the time is low uh, it's not that high but if there are some of the cases where uh, you need dependent on something else then that becomes your uh, complex uh, city high kind of uh, scenario so obviously the value that i am putting will definitely change the particular vulnerability uh, score uh, depending on the various this factor like complexity high or low now the privilege required uh, do you actually require to log into the application most of the time which is like the low or maybe do you need the admin access in order to um, run the accesses so in most of the cases again as i said from a regular user if you're able to load the or execute the accesses then the privilege required will be low now the other thing is since as an accesses in most of the cases uh, it depends on the payload again the interactive payload or non-interactive or non-interactive payload now if it is not required then definitely it will be none but if there is some uh, privilege required then you can definitely mark it to be uh, you know your interaction needed or not now the scope uh, again it depends on what exactly the scenario uh, let's say i'm just considering it's in web applications and the scope is not changing something else okay and the confidentiality uh, again these are some of the parameter it varies on the application where it is sitting how much it is exposed uh, exploited or exposed or what exactly different parameter that it is considering into picture now if you say in general uh, i would say the confidentiality is let's say low and integrity is depend maybe high or maybe low and the availability it's purely depend on what exactly is and i just say low right so considering this factor we just got a value that is 6.7.6 uh, this is considered as an high uh, vulnerability right so if you uh, say the privilege required to be admin or the super admin then you see that uh, the the severity or the score basically drastically changes to medium right that's how it is now if you say like you don't need any um, authentication or maybe any authorization to access the application and explore the particular vulnerability then it becomes uh, more severe right so again most of the time the organization do understand the cvss board uh, value so all you have to do is provide this particular value along with your uh, you know vulnerability so that they will get an idea okay this is what is or they will evaluate it it makes their life easy to evaluate the vulnerability and reward you based on the particular vulnerability that you have reported so uh, yeah it's it's mostly same for your mobile application as well or in even yeah, yeah. and uh, web application majorly i use the cvss score and in fact everybody use the cvss score to uh, evaluate a particular vulnerability and see whether that is an high critical or low vulnerability so if you see the con confidential data is that is using, getting leaked is high or if someone has found some sql injection right in that particular case uh, obviously the scope will change i mean the score will change to high or something really high or even you have some blind sql injection in the home page itself then it will be uh, you know more of the critical vulnerability again this factor uh, 
all depends on what exactly value that you want to choose based on the scenario and the kind of application that you are testing now i hope this this video would have definitely be helpful to understand your concept and you would have got some knowledge about you know how to evaluate a particular vulnerability if you still have query or something do let me in the comment box feel free to write whatever your query is and i will try to answer and thanks for watching this video have a good day